The New York Jets have cap space, and they are using it, trading for Kolechi Osemele. That will be official on Wednesday right after 4 p.m. Signing some players to the offensive side of the ball, led by former Washington wideout Jamison Crowder, three years, $28.5 million. But the two big moves, one came last night, one came this morning. Former Vikings linebacker Anthony Barr on Monday night. Now early Tuesday, former Ravens linebacker C.J. Mosley. Five years, $85 million with $51 million guaranteed. $17 million a year from Mosley, who wanted to stay with the Ravens. Yeah. But the Jets came in with the big money. Chris, is this going to make a difference for the Jets, or do they have more work that they need to do, more holes that they need to fill? Well, no, I, I mean, I, th I certainly think it's a good start. I mean, the Jets, hey, uh, they're in prime position to get a pass rusher in the draft, which they need dearly as well. So it seems like that's setting up more and more for that. But the Jets, hey, secondary play is not bad. You got Jamal Adams, who I would argue is the best safety in football. Now you get guys like CJ Mosley and Anthony Barr who never have to come off the field. Yeah, they can play and do all the traditional things you want out of linebackers as far as stopping the run, but these are three down linebackers. And, and when I say three down linebackers, I mean, these are guys that stay on the field in passing situations because they're smart. They're extremely athletic. They're long. So they have a big radius. It's not easy to throw over them or around them. I, I really like both of those signings. They automatically are in the conversation right away for one of the best duos at linebacker in football. And, and Mike, Kalechi, I keep messing his name. Kalechi Kalechi Assembly. Kalechi Assembly. Kalechi Assembly. He is. He still got some good years left on him. He is one of the better guards in football. Yeah, he's maybe just our starting on the downslope of his career. And Jamison Crowder, you want to talk about helping out Sam Darnold? It's a sneaky good receiver t receiving group they have with the Jets. They have good tight ends, and Jamison Crowder, for my money, Mike, is one of the better slot receivers in all of football. So the Jets are kicking butt right now, spending the money, I think, very wisely. You said something about not being able to throw over or around Anthony Barr, and I mentioned this earlier in the hour, and I didn't give you a chance to push back the way you'd like to, but yes. I have a vivid memory of a Thursday night game between right. the Vikings and the Rams. It was a close game, 38-31, but three touchdowns were scored because Anthony Barr tried to cover first Cooper Cup, then Robert Woods, then Todd Gurley. I may have the order of those last two off, but three different times he got yeah. burned for touchdowns. I believe all three were touchdowns, yeah. and I know that coaching is a big part part of this, but just don't put Anthony Barr in space and expect him to cover somebody who's running a pass route. Well, yeah, let's not put him in space and expect him to cover like, you know, oh, wide receivers who are not even the same animal he is. And I mean that as far as football animals. I mean, Anthony Barr should be covering tight ends down the field. Maybe the back out of the backfield a few times a game when he's got to cover a man-to-man. -man. But you're just a bitter Minnesota fan. Don't blame Anthony Barr for some of those issues you saw in that Thursday night game. You need to talk to your buddy Mike Zimmer on that one because he he is the one that got Anthony Barr in bad spots in positions where he was set up to fail. I mean, there's no way he should be covering Anthony Barr or a Cooper Cup 20, 30 yards down the field. That was a one of our first clues of, wow, the Minnesota defense, uh, the, the they cracked the code, Sean McVay and Boy Genius. So, you know, that that's not his fault. He is still one of the better. Wait, wait, he's yeah. Boy Blunder now, remember? He yeah, told us he's Boy Blunder now. You can't call him Kid <laughs> he Genius He was Boy anymore. Genius then. He was Kid Genius then. But yes, now he's boy blunder. But Anthony Barr is very good at pass coverage. So don't let those three plays, uh, you know, make, make or, or make Anthony Barr seem any less than what he is. It, it's so funny, though, how people in the in the media get caught up in narratives that aren't necessarily accurate. Like I saw yesterday when the news broke of Barr going to the Jets. Oh, the Jets pick up a pass rusher. He's got 13 and a half sacks in yeah, five seasons. No, no thanks. No. <laughs> if, that, if you're signing the guy to be a pass rusher, I think you have better options out there. All due respect. Yes, they do. I, and yeah, Anthony Barr played defensive end at UCLA, but they moved him to stand up linebacker and he has played that position really well. Hey, there's just not a lot of guys on planet earth. Okay. That are six, four, 255 and can run like Anthony Barr can and can turn his hips and pass coverage and do all of those things. So that's where he's special. I mean, Greg Williams must be absolutely ecstatic for what they got, but yeah, they're not getting them to rush the passer. But when you talk about the two linebackers, 
linebackers. Okay. You talk about some of the guys they got in the secondary, like we did early in the segment, Leonard Williams, at defensive tackle. They got the number three pick in the draft, which is set up for Nick Bosa, Josh Allen, top tier pass rushers coming off the edge. The jets could be a completely different defense. Uh, once OTAs or at least the start of the preseason comes around. Here's the last thing I'll say about Anthony Barr. The Vikings over the past seven or eight years have identified their core young talent and they have signed them to long-term deals. And Barr is the only guy that I can think of that they didn't do that with. And this gets back to that debate where yeah. the team that knows a guy better than anyone, and it's five years with Anthony Barr. They're not willing to pay what a stranger to bar is willing to pay him. And somebody's getting this wrong, Chris. Yeah, I get you. And we're going to find out who it is. Well, we don't know how much they're paying him, uh, first of all. But we'll see with that. But yet, More so, than what the Vikings would pay. Well, that's, that's right. That well, the Vikings, too, you got to you got to talk about. They have a lot of people they're paying a whole lot of money to. I mean, yeah. the other middle yeah, line. Oh, I'm so, aware. Yeah. Oh, so I'm that's very aware of, of that. Yeah. $29 million this year in cap space for get one over guy. It. Yeah, we'll He's right your quarterback. Back. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.